I had to dig for him. He, I had to have him keep calling me so I could find him. He was buried in the brush underneath a bunch of briars and, and overgrowth. Well, that tow truck driver may have saved a teenager's life. He found that boy lying in a ditch, badly hurt. Deputies say the victim was waiting for a school bus this morning when a car hit him, throwing him more than 100 feet. Mm. And he wasn't discovered until well after an hour after that accident. Mm -hmm. At 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. That crash happened around 7 this morning. It was on Northeast 289th Street and 82nd Avenue in Clark County. Chris Woodard is live there at the crash now. And Chris, that tow truck driver may have saved this boy's life, it sounds like. I think that's a pretty safe statement. Who knows how long this teen may have been here if the tow truck driver hadn't found him. Uh, just over my shoulder here, that's where the car came to rest. We were down there earlier. Those weeds are almost as tall as me, and I want to show you why it was so hard for people to find this teen. They're that tall back there. Even out here where they're trampled down, you can see just how thick they are. There's layer upon layer of weeds and brush here, and there are bushes further down as well that complicated matters even more today. Now, first responders did come to the scene this morning around 7 a.m. and they treated the 46-year-old driver for a broken arm. It was an hour and a half later that this tow truck driver who was pulling out that driver's car, he was about to leave the scene when he said he does something he usually does before leaving. He walked the ditch line looking for any personal effects that may have been scattered about from the crash. He says that's when he heard very quiet cries for help and then found 16-year-old Justin Carey. I'm glad I was there. I'm glad I did because it doesn't always happen that way. It's just the circumstances. I try to do that at the end just before I get in my truck and leave, but it doesn't always happen that way. But I'm just glad that it did this morning. According to the sheriff's department, when first responders arrived, the driver didn't say anything about having hit a person in the crash. They say they didn't find any evidence, any signs that a person had been hit. Now, the boy is still in the hospital tonight. At this point, there's no updated condition from the hospital, but we did talk to the sheriff's officials who earlier this morning said that his injuries were serious when he was transported. As for if that driver will face any charges, well, the sheriff's office says at this point it is too early to tell. Live in Clark County, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. Thank you, Chris.